What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Richard Ann Hawthorne. Um, just trying to catch up on these questions and answers. Been a little off track. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I uh, picked three questions for today. Uh, first question is, do I use chains in my deadlift uh, routines? Um, I, I don't use chains or bands. Not saying that they, they don't work. Uh, my preference, I, I don't use them at all. I never have, and never, and can't say I never will, but I highly, I highly doubt it. Um, a lot of times, a lot of these questions I'm gonna get and that I answer, it's gonna be pretty much the same thing, and and it is all about the core. Um, to get real good gains in your deadlifts, it's just strictly core core maintenance and that's making sure when you doing your making sure when you're doing your sets and reps is that you you, you stay aware of your core um, you, you never want your core to give because you won't have quality lifts quality uh, training sessions so I mean I I stay away from I stay away from them and I I, I do other things like um, like uh, lifting off the box um, um, and negatives, but uh, every other blue moon I I'll do some lockouts. I mean it's rare for me to do lockouts, but um, but uh, chains and bands I, I I don't I don't mess with not even on my bench or squat. Okay. Uh, second question is training through injuries which is an important question I, I feel like today we have a lot of softer people in this world um, uh, that's just my opinion uh, every time you feel you know a little something you know every time they feel a little something they want to just give in and give up um, but that's just life you know what I mean uh, so when you have a little you you gonna have a little pain. You want to fill it out, okay? You want to warm up, okay? So warm up. See what you can and can't do. See what what happens when you do certain things. You wanna you wanna learn your body, okay? Uh, and powerlifting powerlifting is a rough sport on your body, so you have to actually feel it. You know, feel feel your body. And like I said, learn it. There's a couple couple different things you'll feel as far as the word hurt and a lot of people I don't like that word hurt because um, it's not a efficient word I guess um, you have you have uh, shooting pains okay you have sharp pains dull pains tightness pains and uh, there's probably a couple more but the thing is is Definitely, if you feel a sharp pain or a shooting pain, those are the things where you definitely need to lay off. Okay. Um, everything else, tightness and, and dull. Okay. Or, oh, sore pain. Sore pain is the fifth one. Um, tightness, dull, and sore. You good to go. Okay. Um, like I said. You want to fill it out, say in squat. A lot of times, a lot of times, uh, I feel a little, little um, pains in my my knees, front of my knees, or the inside of my uh, groin area or outside hip area. What you want to do is warm up good. People, people don't warm up like they're supposed to. So, warm up good. Um, get familiar with your body. Uh, change squat stands and see you know like I said fill it out see what hurts what makes it hurt you know what I mean when you do it and this is with lightweight so warm up you know with the lightweight don't try to go up and still feel it okay so so for for example when I start warm up say I do um, 135 if I feel a little pain I'm gonna do 135 warm up fill it out until I don't feel it no more and if it don't go away, if it don't go away, like I said, I change my stance to C, and I'll and then I'll move on if it start feeling a little better. I'll go on up, but if it comes back to where 
it's never fully going away, then yeah, I, I may call it and do something else that day, you know. But don't just be so quick to to throw it out the window. But you, like I said, you do want to be cautious and actually listen to your body when it comes to sharp pains and and shooting pains. Okay. Um, uh, I've been I've been in the game for a while and I only had two minor injuries, okay, and that's just um, one of them was being out for years and jumping back in the game thinking thinking I'm strong enough. Yeah, I was strong enough, but my tendons and joints wasn't ready for ready for that weight. So so. Um, the, the injuries I had really stupidity injuries um, and small injuries so so like I said fill it out you know what I mean in your warm ups you know switch your grips switch your stance um, on, on squat and, and bench deadlift you really don't want to do too much switching uh, just go ahead and warm up hit you some reps and see if um, see if it, it goes away or not okay all right now the third third question is tips on keeping your back straight there's only one thing <clears throat> biggest thing keeping your back straight and deadlift go down and wait okay uh, if your back can't stay straight go down and wait uh, that means your core your core is given okay um, your limbs are strong enough for the weight, but your core is not, so therefore you need to go down. All right. Other than that, if you just have a problem with keeping your back straight, uh, some people have a, 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 a totally straight back in their lift. Some people have a slight bend at the, at the, um, at the bottom of the, of the back. But, but um, if you have a problem keeping your back straight or slightly bent, then... You should do some, um, I don't recommend good mornings. I don't like good mornings. What I have a lot of people do with me, if they have like back injuries or if they have a weaker back, I have them do band goodies. It's called it band goodies. We have a band, wrap it around the neck and step on it. Straighten your legs out and it's just like good mornings with bands, okay? So keep the legs straight, coming back and forth, uh, up and down with the, uh, at the hip area. Uh, using the hip as a hinge, doing good mornings with a band, okay? So, um, the biggest thing with keeping your back straight is go down and wait, which will build core. you eventually get up there. Um, um, and if you don't have a stronger back, you know, uh, band goodies, or you do um, other, other things that are, that are strengthen that lower back, okay? Um, you you always have to um, have to have patience, okay? This is you, you see the 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 saying or the post every now and then that powerlifting is a uh, is not a, a sprint, it's a marathon. That's what it is. Um, so take your time. You're not going you're not going to be uh, the strongest powerlifter or whatever overnight. So take your time. Be patient. Everything will come. Uh, as long as you're doing everything uh, to the safest and, and best of your ability. So um, always take in good information and uh, stick with it. I'm out.